Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel creativegraphics.com. And today I'm going to show you the new feature of Filmora 12. So Wondershare company is ready to officially launch Filmora 12 in next month. So this is the beta version, and if you want to test this beta version, I put all links in the description. Also you can win prices, so don't forget check it out. So let's go to the video. Okay guys this is the new Filmora 12 beta version. And you can see a huge difference between Filmora 11. So this is my recent projects, and it all shows with the thumbnails. So you click this icon it all changes to list mode like this. So the next one is this cloud projects. You can save your important project file from Filmora servers. So you have free 1 GB storage and if you need more, you can get their subscriptions. Ok let's get into it. So guys this is the new Filmora 12 interface. Actually they used nice colors and looks pretty and clear. Ok let's talk about the new features. In the top window bar, you can see this icon. Click this and you can see different types of workspace layouts. So it has workspace like edit, organize, short video, dual monitor, and Filmora old workspace too. So the next one is this keyboard shortcut option. In this option, you can easily customize all key bindings you want. Also if you use different software like Premiere Pro or Final Cut Pro in before, you can easily add that key shortcuts to Filmora like this. The next one is, this new layer style. You can see all layers have rounded corners. So it helps to find where the start points, end points, and split positions. So guys next one are the adjustment layer. For example, I already add two clips to the timeline. And I need to add some color effects to this both layers. So I add this adjustment layer and drag it to the end. Then I adjust these color settings. Ok now you can see this both clips had changed. This is a great feature for Filmora, and it helps a lot for editing. Also you can add effects, overlays, and anything you want. See it's added both layers. So next on is this new color grading option called HSL. This helped to change the selective color for your video. Also, click this icon to enable the color graph. So I need to change this car color. So I select the green color, and I change the settings. See it's changing the car color. So the next one is the advanced keyframe option. Like an example, I go to the effects and search lens correction. Then I add it to the adjustment layer. Then you can see this all settings have keyframes. If you remember in Filmora 11, only has a few keyframe options. But in Filmora 12 have keyframes for every single effect. So I make a little animation like this. So 
so this one helps to make a custom animation you like. So next thing is this mask pen tool option. So this is a really good thing. So you have a question, about how I draw a mask in this little area. Don't worry guys, you can drag this window, and maximize it like this. Now you can easily draw mask. When you need to draw curve line, just hold the Alt key and drag it like this. Then hold the Alt key and click, and you can see it automatically draw a curved line. After drawing a mask you can replace this window. Also, you can make an animation for this mask. For example, I make this mask to track this balloon like this. See now it's tracked this balloon. So the next one is the smart cutout. This is the best feature of Filmora 12. So enable this and click here. Then you have a new interface. So this is the brush tool we use for drawing. When holding control and moving the mouse, it changed the brush size like this. So I need only this man in this video. So I select the one place in the timeline and draw the area I want. Also, you have to erase tools, for erasing unwanted brush lines, and grab tool to move this video. Okay I finished my drawing and I click this start button. Now you can see it's tracking this man in this whole video. Now click this icon and you can use transparent background, black transparent background, and alpha mode for masking. So select one of these and click save. Then I add another video and you can see it perfectly removed the background our video. Also, you can make green screen videos using this method. So the next one is, when you use the same song for your videos. Matching the ending and start is so hard. So you can see I have a long video and short sound clip. Now I need to play this song in this whole video. So here's how it does it. Click this audio stretch tool and go to the endpoint. Then drag it to the end like this. Okay, now your song plays in this whole video without any effects. So I will play some points. See it didn't have any repeated places or slow motion sounds. So the final thing is new video export features. So they add new wave sound format and new video bitrate options. 
So now you have VBR and CBR bitrate modes, and SDR and HDR color modes, and compression quality modes. Now you can export your videos with the highest quality. Okay guys these are the new features of Filmora 12. So guys what do you think about this software? Leave a comment below what's your favorite new feature, and leave a like this video. If you want more like these videos you can subscribe to my channel. So see you guys in the next vid, take care and peace.